The country has been having an ongoing debate about rape culture and what is acceptable in terms of what you say to people, what you do in the bedroom. We're having this ongoing debate. Sometimes it goes into the area of pop culture with songs like Blurred Lines. Sometimes it goes into the world of fashion with this new line of uh, consent panties that a group is trying to raise money to sell. Now, this is the Force activist group. And they're currently looking to raise $150,000 to sell these panties that are supposed to spread sex-positive, anti-rape culture messages. Uh, so why don't we bring up uh, the pictures, and uh, what do you think about this? You must ask me for consent. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny and it's cute. It's kind of clever. Uh huh. Is this so? Now, is this uh, an actual panty design, or is this one of the like spoof panties from the Victoria's Secret fake line? So I was led to believe that these are ones that they might actually. They might actually make. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, who knows? They don't have the money yet. Um, let's talk about sex. I think there's one more. How does no? that? Yeah. Let's talk Ask about like. sex. Okay. With a winky face. Now, mm -hmm. what I think is funny is uh, they say that it, they there there are sometimes panties that have like messages on them, yeah. But they're about like like flirting and stuff. That one, that last one, seems kind of flirty to me. But I, that's what I was gonna say. If this is like really, I mean, I think they're cool, but they don't mm. really seem that anti-rape to me. They just seem like they're for communication in the bedroom, right? Ask yeah. me what I like. No means no. Like listen to me. Things like that. So. Mm -hmm. They're fun little messages. I don't really think it's going to make an impact. Yeah. <laughs> in, well, they in rape say culture, but. they say that this by itself is not supposed to have any sort of large impact. They just want to, in as many areas as possible, inject, I guess, the philosophy right. into and the and start dialogue. the conversation and bring awareness, mm -hmm. which I think is great. But I think also what when you think about, you know, underwear and at what point your partner sees your underwear, if you're in a first date. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't talking about date. I'm just talking about. If you're already taking your clothes off, like I don't see how that is going to prevent rape or anything like that, mm. unless of course it's being forced off of you. Yeah. But I don't necessarily think a message like that is going to stop yeah. anyone. Well, I think I think the activists would say that they're hoping that a girl who decides to hook up with a guy, mm -hmm. he starts to take off her clothing, he sees that, and then he will go forth and spread the word. Kind of, I think that's the idea. Is it's supposed to. But he's, he, he, look, he's probably pretty distracted at that point because he's about to, he's <laughs> about mean, to have sex. Do, are you but, really going to stop and read a message? You just want to take those things off. Yeah. Boom. No, no, no. If I see like, like a humorous like limerick on the panties, I will stop and read them, sometimes aloud. We'll both appreciate really? it. Really? No, not really. I've never seen one of those. But, <laughs> um, I love it. And uh, so some critics have come out and said that, uh, that, like you said, this is not the right venue for it. Uh, you've already taken off your pants. Now they respond by saying, "Just because I've taken off my pants does not mean that I don't reserve the right to say no," which oh, is course. totally, which is totally of true. Of course, it seems like pretty rare that you would have to do that, but it is totally true. Mm -hmm. um, now, Ricky, do you have something to say? You're giving me a hard look. I am. Yeah. You no pun intended. Okay. <laughs> oh wow! John had a real ass joke coming out of La Um uh, Yeah. So. Look, I, we, we have covered lots of stories that get into this topic in the past. We had multiple videos about blurred lines. And look, I don't agree with the common narrative that it's like promoting rape or anything like that. And I think that it's important that we have this ongoing dialogue. And just because you're in college or something and you're not influencing legislation does not mean that your opinion doesn't matter or that having dialogue with other college students doesn't matter. I don't know how much of an impact that these consent panties will have. But I think that this is something that's going to continue to evolve. And I don't know where, where we're going to end up in a year or two. Like, are things going to be better? I mean, rapes are lower. That's not a fact that you commonly hear. But rapes are way lower than they were 10, 20, 30 years ago. But still, as long as there's any, it's, it's a problem. Any other thoughts? I think they're cute. Mm -hmm. And I think that they they're, are cute. they're a great alternative to the really, like, sexy, sort of flirtatious, um, slightly sexist messages that you find on pennies now. So it's good to always have a different perspective. What are, what are some examples? Do you know of any? <laughs> I, don't, I don't own a lot of pennies. I don't, I don't like writing on my underwear, okay. but I've seen some pretty crazy ones. Like okay. put it in there, things like that. Like very Jeez. aggressive ones. I wasn't going to, but if your panties say it, well then why not?